everyone welcome back to Six and Stones wood carving today we're going to do a not a wood spirit face well, uh, you don't always have to carve wood spirits uh, let that be known on this channel which is just one of the things we focus on because that's what we get the most requests for but uh, I thought it'd be fun to do a couple little projects uh, show you how to draw little things you can cut out of wood and carve those okay uh, for instance this is going to be a drawing tutorial of making a pattern for a little tiny depressed bear that I make a lot of and believe it or not they move fast you know people love bears so I'm going to do a little short video series on uh, three different bears that you can draw your patterns for and wood carve them okay so this will be bear number one and well just get your paper and pencil and let's have at it okay here we go is draw a simple triangle for a nose. I never gave this guy a name, so you can feel free to name him. Just color his nose in. I got construction going on today outside of my house. They're doing road work, so if my dog barks, as usual, <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, he tends to bark when there's people outside and they're all making noise. Okay, I'm leaving a little white spot there to give him a little highlight. All right, now that's the whole key how we're going to do this is from his nose, all right, we can center everything else around him. Um, from his nose, I'm going to put two lines, all right? I'm just going to go one. And about here, I'm going to draw another one just kind of like that, all right? So his eyes are going to be shut, all right? Now, from there, I can gauge how high I want his head, and I come up pretty high for this guy. So I'm just going to draw like a pointed head right here. Right, that's the top of his head. Right, now from there, I want you to just draw a circle like that. Come over to this side, we're going to draw another one. We're just going to kind of gauge it out for a minute, like that. And then we can take this point, and we'll run it down, connect that ear, come over here, and do the same on this side. Okay, something like that. Alright, good. Now from here, we're going to come down like that. This side right here, we're not going to come down that far because we're going to put a hand there. So what I want you to do is just come down a little bit and stop. Okay. Now from here is where we're going to do, start making this hand. We're going to just come down like that. Then we're going to put another finger all right like that hook it over right from there we're going to do another finger okay and we'll make one more because his hands going to be on his face all right and then we're just going to make his paw kind of like that now we can take his arm and run it down make a circle come back up and touch all right now that's his one hand on his face come over to here at the top of his nose here and come down and up just like that now try and get that towards the center a little bit Come underneath with a little shading and draw the other side of his mouth. We're going to bring that right over and into his arm. Then we come up on this side. Okay. We're going to come down and we're going to touch his hand there. Alright, that's one arm done. We're going to come underneath about here. Okay. We're going to make his other arm. So we're going to bring this line down all the way down about here and then just stop about there okay good now from up at the top his back is going to start here okay, and then from there this where this line right here is that's where his shoulder is going to be all right for that other arm so we're going to bring that in all right and i like to make these a little heavier lines for the drawing I'm going to shade that a little thicker at the top. Then we're going to bring it around. 
and come down to about here. Now stop because we're going to leave room for his foot, all right? All right, this aren't line we can connect. About here, following that line like it was going down his back, all right? Come down, and forward, about to there. Now, all right in here is where we're going to put his foot, all right? So we're going to come to about here, and we're going to make a hook like that. That's going to be the beginning of his, the outside of his foot. We come down. Circle it back up. And then come over. Now we can attach this paw here, now that we have his foot in. Now right here we can just draw a little pad for the bottom of his foot, okay? I'm going to give him some toes, one, two, okay? Down here we'll give him a couple of lines to insinuate his fingers on that hand. Okay, now basically... We're going to come over and just make one more leg, and that's all there is to making this little bear. We'll dress him up a little bit with fur and everything, but... So come over here to his arm, all right? Probably about... Right about here, a little above his elbow, all right? And we're going to come up... And down. Very simple, very basic, all right? Keep it simple, and draw it all the way back to his hand. And stop. Now he's sitting. Okay? And again, we can draw... A line or two just to insinuate his paws now the only thing left really is to give him a little mouth so probably about here you can make this bigger or smaller it'll change his look a little that's all and we're just going to draw the bottom of his mouth now we can darken that in as we please and you have a basic little pattern we're drawing a little depressed bear <laughs> okay now we can make his ears you know a little bit more pronounced by shadowing the shape of him on the inside we can round his head off and everything and you can give him all fur if you'd like you know you dress this drawing up any way you want okay or just color him in okay I'm just gonna give him some lines because this is just gonna be a basic little tutorial on how to make them okay so I'm just kind of scribbling some lines on them I want to keep his eyes visible I don't want to overdo it because this is all fur okay this is fur and of course all of his body would have whatever color or whatever detail you want to put on them for this purpose, I'm just giving him some scribbly lines to insinuate his fur. And just go around. And then we can outline him with a marker or a black pen, whatever you'd like. Just outline him. And his darker lines. And then you'll have yourself your bear. doesn't take much to make him look like somebody. I've been drawing him for years. I even have clip art of him doing different things. I'm going to shade in up here. I'm going to shade in over here. Maybe give him a little bit of detail in there now here you go just go around and outline them I'm going to do it in pencil since that's what I'm using so much of uh, nowadays tends to get my hands and paper dirty but I really like drawing with the pencil I'm just going to go around and darken everything and this is where you can change stuff if his arms a little too skinny or whatever you might want to erase and Change the shape of it. Round things off. 
the last thing I'm going to do to finish him off after this is just color this little foot pad in. So this is meant to be simple and basic so anybody can do it. Okay. Now you could, we could do advanced drawings. We'll do some of those later on down the road. But I like keeping things simple for now. And we'll move on later on. If you guys get better or you, you request things, don't forget to request things. I love challenges. I love drawing cartoons, but I love drawing realistic stuff too. And there we go. You have a nice little simple bear. Color them as you like. And we'll do another project. Or maybe we'll do uh, two or three of these little bears so you can have three. You know, and you have a set. And you can make them doing all kinds of different things. So this will be the first bear in set one of bears to draw. Now you have a nice little pattern. You can sit there. You don't always have to do wood spirit faces. You could draw this little bear on a block of wood, cut it out, carve him up, and I'll show you a picture of the little bear uh, once he's carved. So that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Kevin from Sticks and Stones Wood Carving, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.